All right. Well, a couple of months ago, I made a video when I uh, removed the transmission from uh, this, my 2004 Ram SRT10. Uh, it's a factory T56. And because uh, it just never shifted right. I, I explained a little bit of, the, of it then. I'll link it in the comments if you want to see that. Um, so I sent it out to Tick Performance in uh, one of the Carolinas, TICK Performance, and they did what I can tell is a fantastic job refurbishing it and beefing it up. Uh, I had to replace a whole bunch of stuff, but it turned out that the bushings on the shifter shaft had uh, just bound to the shifter shaft and it, it wasn't shifting properly. And then uh, with the abuse that it's taken through the four prior owners and me, it had trashed out most of the synchros and ruined the fifth gear. Uh, gear. So all that's replaced and it's ready to go. I've gotten that back, but then I uh, figured since I'm in here, we'll take a look at the clutch because it was always a stiff clutch. It worked, but it was really, really stiff. I pulled it off and here is what I found. This was laying in the bell housing up by the starter. <laughs> this was the flywheel side. Uh, pressure plate, I don't know if you can see the cracks and the checking and everything else in that thing. It's junk. Flywheel is basically cooked. Uh, I probably could have had that surfaced, but I'm lazy. So, this was a center force unit. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'm going back with a center force unit because it should be able to handle it. So I got my clutch and pressure plate there, all brand new. Got a factory steel, nice, pretty flywheel from Wholesale Mopar down in Florida. Had good luck with them over the years. Uh, at some point, the uh, slave cylinder had been upgraded to the Viper style from the truck and the uh, F-body style. So I'm keeping that, but I'm just changing out throw-out bearing. It's not bad, but I figure it's been pretty well beat, so I might as well, and it wasn't terribly expensive. And you saw me, I got the video on how I pulled the pilot bearing. I'll be putting a new one of those in with my pilot bearing tool. And since I'm in there, it's not really leaking, but why not? Got my rear main and the rear main cover gasket. So just did an oil change on it. And uh, this is going to be my task over the next couple of days. I was thinking about starting it tonight, but it's close to 100 degrees out here and about dew point of mid 70s. So all I did was move this thing a little bit and sweep around it. And I'm already dehydrated. So I may do some cleaning on it. Just get the crud out of the bell housing. And. Uh, and uh, hopefully tomorrow morning, when it cools off a little bit, we can start putting this bad boy back together. Because uh, I'm real interested to see what it's supposed to drive like, since I don't know what that is, because this transmission's been screwed up ever since I bought the truck. Uh, what I can't believe is that even without all this stuff, all these pieces, it never really got into the flywheel. I mean, it wore cockeyed. You can see this still some of the Blanchard grinding on it from the original but it's burned I can't see any cracks but it's not smooth and like I said I could have had it done and I could have dropped another five hundred dollars and got the, the nice aluminum one but eh, why bother it was good enough then I didn't honestly even know it was bad till I took it apart so we will see and uh, I'm gonna make a separate video of this Yep. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Yep. Okay. Now, I don't know if you remember what I had before, but this shifter rod was completely bound up. And now, whoo, look at that. Look at that. Nice and smooth. Before, I had to put a screwdriver 12 inches long in that thing to even get it to think about moving. 
and it's beautiful. What happened is all the bushings all the way along there um, just uh, were all bound up. And uh, from what the guys at the shop said, that's kind of common. I've seen a lot of these um, complaints on the internet, people having this sticky shifter problem with these transmissions, and everybody tells them to put springs in the shifter and all that other silliness. Uh, that's not your problem. That won't fix it. You need a rebuild. These bushings have locked up. They have bit onto the shaft. And uh, sorry to tell you that, but that's the expensive part. So that's going to be the fun part. Get all this stuff back put together. And hopefully get this thing on the road by the end of the weekend. Because it's been a while. I haven't been able to move this and get it out of the way. But I need to do some more burnouts because my driveway is starting to get clean. The rain is washing away my burnouts. And uh, that's just not acceptable. So, anyway, that's the plan. And uh, hopefully we can get her done.